Hello friends, this is Miss Madeline and today I am at the Harrison Park School Garden. Today we are going to learn about all of the important people who help grow and provide the food that we eat. We are going to read a book, taste some things in the garden, and then draw a picture of a person who is part of our food community. What is a community? A community is a group of living things like people, plants, and animals who work together to help each other grow and live. Before we start our lesson, I wanted to share the sign language word for community. It goes like this. Can you try it with me? Let's do it again. Some people use their hands to talk instead of speaking words. And I think it's cool to learn a sign language word in each of our lessons. What is something you have eaten today? This morning, I ate a banana with my breakfast and the sticker says it came from Ecuador. Wow, where do the fruits, vegetables, meat, bread, and other things that we eat come from? And how do they get to us in our homes? Let's read a book together and find out a little bit more about where our food comes from. This book is called Before We Eat, From Farm to Table, and it is by Pat Brisson. As we sit around this table, let's give thanks as we are able to all the folks we'll never meet who helped provide this food we eat. They plowed the ground and planted seeds, tended fields, removed the weeds. That's hard work. They picked the food at harvest time, working in the heat and grime. They grazed the cattle Ooh. Fed the sows, oink, oink, oink. gathered eggs, and milked the cows. They fished from boats out on the seas raised wheat and nuts and honeybees. Thank the ones who packed the crates, sorted boxes, checked the weights. Thank the drivers on the roads, in their trucks with heavy loads. and all the clerks at all the stores who did the grocery selling chores. Thank the ones who bought this food, the ones who teach me gratitude. Sitting at this meal we share, we are grateful and aware, sending thanks upon the air. to those workers everywhere. The end. I hope this book helped to show you all of the important people who help bring food to us every day. I certainly am grateful for all of those who work in our food community. Let's think for a moment about some of those people in our lives. Who prepares the food we eat at school or get from school? Who helps with the food we get at the store? Who makes the food we eat at a restaurant? Who cooks your food at home? It's easy to think that food just magically appears in our kitchens or on our plates, but there was a lot of work that went into growing that food, raising it, getting it to us, 
and finally cooking it for us. Being a gardener is fun because you know exactly where your food is coming from when you grow it yourself, like these beautiful broccoli plants. Look how big they've gotten. So beautiful. I think vegetables are the tastiest when you can eat them right out of a garden. Do you think this is a tasty looking broccoli? Hmm, let's find out. Ooh, should I eat it? Mmm, mm. that is so good. Oh my gosh. Thank you, broccoli. Check out this dinosaur kale. Ooh, I wonder if this is tasty too. Mmm, tastes a lot like the broccoli. Here's my tongue green. <laughs> yep. Mmm, cilantro and arugula. Very tasty plants as well. Cilantro has so much flavor when you eat it really fresh. Mmm. Mmm. Pow! So good. I wish I had some tacos to put these on. We can use our bodies and pretend to do some of these jobs to get a feel for what it's like to do all that hard work to get the food we eat to us. Can you try to use your body to pretend to be a farmer? Let's stand up and practice together. We can plant seeds in the ground. We can use a hoe to get out weeds. Can you pretend you are a fisher person out on the seas? Casting your line, reeling it back in. Casting your line and reeling it back in. Ooh, maybe you got a big fish. Ah! Let's pretend to milk a cow. Have you ever milked a cow? I have, and it was pretty interesting. You gotta squeeze those udders, squeeze the milk down. What about a truck driver driving a big truck full of food? Hmm, does your truck have a big horn? Honk, honk. Now let's pretend to be a chef mixing a big pot of soup for a restaurant full of people. Ooh, smell that. Delicious. Mix that soup. Good job. It takes a lot of work to grow and make all of the food that we eat. So let's take a moment to pause and be grateful for all of that food and all of those people. Close your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath, and quietly think about a food that you really like to eat. Think about what it looks like. Is it colorful? What does it taste like? Is it crunchy? Is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it spicy? Think about who gives you this food and say a silent thank you to all of the people who made it possible for you to eat your favorite food. For your activity today, you are going to draw a portrait of someone in our food community. A portrait is just a drawing or a picture of someone's face. You get to choose what kind of person you draw. Maybe it's a truck driver, a fisher person, a farmer, somebody who helps bring the food that you eat to your table. I chose to draw a chef because I really like to cook and I get a lot of inspiration from people who make really interesting foods at restaurants. Then you'll write a sentence saying who you chose to draw and why you're thankful for them. Thank you cooks for making yummy food for me to try. My portrait is of a particular chef named David Chang. He has a great TV show and he really encouraged me to try Korean food for the first time, which I love. Thanks for joining me today to learn about our food community. Maybe you can give your portrait to somebody in your local community. 
or you can even send a picture of it to me so I can admire your work. Take care everybody and see you next time.